How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Season 2 of ARC, The Beginner's Guide. My name is John, and today, well, we're going to be talking about uh, something that a lot of people are really looking forward to when they play this game. What most people are looking forward to doing when they play this game, uh, and this is just something I want to go ahead and learn, uh, is taming dinos. I mean, yeah. Come on, taming dinos. You gotta admit, you know, when you, when you play Ark, you want to tame something. You know, you want to want to get that rush. That yeah, I just tamed something. Look at me, I'm awesome. Uh, and all that fun stuff. Well, guess what? You're gonna be awesome. After today's discussion, you're gonna be so awesome that you're the most awesome person in the history of awesomeness. Yeah, that's totally a thing. Oh no, am I totally encumbered? I am totally encumbered. Uh, but here's a trick for that. Actually, you know what? I don't want the second. Or that, you know. There we go. I picked those back up because I may be able to get them, and that tech parasaur is just taunting me. And crafting is a good way to gain XP. Uh, okay. Where are we at now? 112 movement speed. We need 115. We are almost there. Uh, and let's see. Level 9. We are not there yet. We need one more level for what I'm going for. And that is... Oh, wait, no. We don't need one more level. We got that level. Bolas. What do I need? Fiber. I need fiber. Give me... Okay, I'm completely encumbered. Oh well. That's part of arc. Uh, I need these berries. Okay, now I can move a little bit more. Is that a shark or a dolphin? I don't know and I don't care. Um, let's see here. Now when you're setting down stuff for your base, uh, you have 30 seconds to pick it up after you set it down. I have my setting switch so where that does not apply for me. Uh, but normally you will have 30 seconds to pick it up. I can pick it up whenever I feel like. Oh, a Dimorphodon. That would be a good shoulder pad. Uh, but we need bullet. You know what? We could actually tame that guy up. Uh, let's see here. Bolas. I need stone and fiber. here. Not enough fiber. Am I going to be out of stone? And thatch. Now a Dimorphodon would be a good for a shoulder pet actually. Because these guys, they're pretty helpful. So you know what, I think, and I have meat, so these guys, these guys are carnivores, I have meat, you know what, I think I just might try for this guy when he lands. Or this girl. 
and then you just punch them out. Oh, I hit you too hard. Yeah. Oh yeah, your taming effectiveness is going down from that. But... Hey, meat. Oh, you're level 80. You're a tough one. And see, I'm injured. Okay. That's it for movement speed. Time to work on weight. And if you're not sure where your t potential new friend is, this button right here, that's your taming tracker. Bam, you can find it. Lickety split. And I did not put meat on her the minute I knocked her out. So she could end up waking up, which is why we're keeping these blackberries. Um, but she's not going to wake up because I let her starve out. Oh yeah, she's going to get up any second now. She looks really cool too. And the blood and everything, they instantly heal after you tame them. Awesome. We'll name you Purple Girl. Because you're purple. You look so cool. Okay. Put you on passive. Get you to stop following me. Pick you up. And we have our first tame. She looks weird. Demorphodon always look weird when you tame them. Uh, but. And then taming tracker, you turn it off. Bam. Yeah. But hey, this is pretty good for a first shoulder pat. Uh, and you can send them out to attack things, too. If you whistle attack my target. Let's see. But you don't have the best stats so anyway but you know what you're going to be our refrigerator you're going to hold on to all these berries of ours uh, and you're just going to be hanging out right here as we get our little base set up and bola wise how many bolas do we have left I think you would be you were tempting, but you were too low level. Uh-oh. I see. Oh, those are dillos. Huh. Anyway, uh, cooked meat, give me. Thank you. Let's get a drink of water. Thank you. Let me see what level. Oh, that is a lot of dillos. Uh, what level is this parasaur? Level 8. No. Uh, oh man, if we have a Pego over there too. Pegos steal stuff from you, but... If you have measure berries in your zero slot... That's how you tame them. They steal all your measure berries. Dillos coming over here. Yeah, they sure are. No parasaur. You know what? I'm getting Genki. 
You're a low level, and you have the word hide written all over you. meat on you, give you some hit points. Okay, and give myself some weight. Okay, do I have the stuff to make more thatch foundation? Two more. You know what? That will work just fine for me. And then, also, the good thing is when it rains, it instantly fills your water up, and your water will not drain while it is raining. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Let's see. Thatch. Uh, let's see. We need to learn ceiling, wall, door frame, and door. In which, how many of those can we make? We do not have enough thatch make any of that uh, how much how much of this crap can we throw on you probably not that much All right, I'm gonna put the rest of that let's see okay But today, but yeah, that's how you tame a dino. We got ourselves a purple girl. And now we're gonna get ourselves. Actually, I want one of those. Yes, please. Uh, we're gonna be out of wood. You always run out of wood in this game. Believe it or not, wood is something you are constantly hoping, you are constantly looking for. Uh. Okay, and let's see. Let's get some more stuff I don't want. And when you're crafting stuff, you move super, super slow. Which is a very big downer, but it's part of the game. I don't see that Pego anymore. I do see that Dillo. And I don't want that Dillo in our sp to be in our presence. There we go. Okay, so I need two more. Those, what do I need? I need thatch. Yeah. I need that door frame. And then some more. Perfect. There's that peg. Oh man, I wish I had a spyglass. But in this beginner's guide, we are, once we get a better tame, uh, we're actually going to go out and I'm going to show you guys how to get a spyglass. The easy way. And by easy way, I mean medium, medium hardish way. Uh, and I want this to be multiple walls high but hey this will do for now and this is not S plus by the way these structures right here uh, they are not S plus that I'm using so uh, like I said I'm going completely uh, raw let's see we'll put you you know what I think I'll put you right there so this is our respawn bed. 
So if we die, this is where we respawn. Sound good to you, pretty girl? Or purple girl? Yeah, I think that sounds good. Okay, now what do we need for more walls? Fiber. Fiber is a pain. But... You get berries when you're going after fiber. And I'm amazed I've not seen a raptor or a pack of compies around here. Because this is a popular spawn spot for both. This is a spawn spot for alpha raptors too. And alpha things are not good news. They are really, really bad news. Uh, how many measure berries do I have? 65. If I can get up to 100 and that's a low level pego, I could tame it right then and there. Okay, let's see, dump those. Ooh, seeds, we are not ready for crops though. Okay, I have 319 fiber. Because stacks max out at 300. So, all right, Pego, come get me. What level are you? You're a 52. Oh, man. You suck. That didn't tame you. That should have tamed you. So, so when that doesn't work, you kill him. So, yeah, and I could have accessed the inventory. Turtle wouldn't be bad, but turtles are have a have a lot of torpor. So, trilobite, what level are you? Sixteen. You know what? Once that tur ooh, another trilobite. Give me some chitin. Trilobites are actually really useful. You can get a lot of cool resources off of killing a trilobite and then using your hatchet. See, look, we get oil, chitin, and silica pearls. Even a black pearl. Black pearls, you're going to need a lot of those later on in the game. When you start building tech, yeah, you're going to need a lot of those. And that one's just skedaddling. Not for long. Silica pearls, oil. Let's get some weight. Eat up. I always let my food drop all the way to zero, by the way, uh, as a guarantee that. Uh, because when you eat, uh, if you have taken damage and you eat, uh, it actually restores your health. So, that's why I always like to... Uh, let's give you some of that. Can you hold that? I know this is pretty heavy and probably going to encumber you, but... Okay, yeah, and see we have more Dillos. And that is definitely a shark out there. I'm gonna run out that. Shh. At least it's only Dillos we're having to deal with. How many spears do I have left? Nine. That's good. Okay. see here. Bam. 12 should be a good starter. Uh, 
Okay, get get away from the dillo. Get away from the dillo. Get away from the dillo. Don't get aggro from the dillo. Sure, we can take a bite. Let's see while we're at it. As the parasaur. Okay, and we built too many. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's get to the uh, the ceiling. Yeah, out that. Okay, and that's the Dillo pack over there. So we're going to go over here. Or I do not see a Dillo pack. Got my weight up. That's good. As the Dillo pack moves in. Okay. And see, this is why this is medium. You have a lot more baddies spawning around here. And I left the door open. Okay. I love where you parasaur. Twenty-eight. And of course I gain aggro. No, I don't want to crouch. See, that's why you let your food run low. So now you can heal up. Because we have a boo-boo. Okay. Thatch ceiling. I need six. And this is how you choose how many you want to do. You go craft amount, type in the number, bam. Uh, let me see if I can learn s storage box. Yes, please. Do I have the materials to craft a storage box? No. I need wood. Purple girl, you got wood? No. You've got a lot of meat, though. This shelter is from the elements. Let's see here. Once we get a storage box going. There we go. You know what? You are a 28. Actually, I don't have anything to knock you out with. Um, so I'm going to put a pause on that. So I'm not going to punch you out. 28 is too high level to be punched out. Uh, storage box. Put you right there. Bam. Everything we do not need. Go in there. Give me all your stuff. And of course you're completely... You know what? Toss all those berries out. Give me that meat back. I want to hold on to all that. 
So. So do I have enough to craft another storage box? More thatch and wood. That's not going to be a big... There we go. Okay. And then we're going to just put you right here. Bam. And just like that, all of our stuff is stored. Okay, so now, let's see, spoiled meat, give me that. That spoiled meat is going to come in handy. Uh, and so is that charcoal. We're going to save all of that charcoal here. You can have the rest of that meat. You aggro on a turtle? Yeah, I'm willing to bet the turtle's going to win. Hmm. Anyway, where was I going? Uh, let's see, crafting. We are at level... 16 so we can craft large stuff now we can craft hide armor uh we'll overheat with hide armor so we're not going to worry about that but something we do need to worry about is uh mortar and pestle narcotic spark powder let's learn bow and arrow and cementing paste You just move backwards, because Dillos have, are a lot slower than you. So it's pretty easy to outpace a Dillo. As long as you know what you're doing. In this case, yeah, that's pure luck. Okay, and I'm almost dehydrated. Thank you, Ocean, for not having salty water. <laughs> I'm a total goofball. Um, but I'm proud of it can hold on to the rest of that so more so now that we have that for mortar and pestle we need more stone because uh, we have plenty of hide Dillos will give you tons of hide uh, we just need stone I'm gonna swim actually oh that was a dolphin And that's a shark. Swim around that dillo, come over here, smack a rock, get the stone that we need. Good. I'm gonna let my stamina come back. There we go. And then let's see. Is that still still there? No. 
is not. That is good. I need another Parasaur to spawn in. Parasaur would be great right now. But, oh well. Uh, give me that. Order and pestle. Craft one for now. Set you down right there. Bam. And spark powder. We only have three, but hey. Some more weight. Let's see where we're at. 17. What do we get? 17 pipes. Okay. Uh, we are not ready for pipes, though. <laughs> Even though the game says we are. Uh, we just don't have the means for pipes yet. So, uh, what I want to do is go out and, let's see here. Sorry about that little bug right there. But, I want to go... Uh, work on getting a possible new tame. And I'm going to need just a bunch of berries for it. But, hey, if I can find myself a Parasaur, that would be awesome. I can just go out and get myself a Parasaur right now. You know, that way we have something to travel on. That'd be awesome. And I'm getting close to this hill. And this hill usually has raptors on the at the top. But hey, we'll find out. Pegos and Compies. And Dillos. No raptors. That is... That is a new. That is very much new. I have never been up here and there not be a raptor. There's Dillo. Hey Dillo, pick a fight with this turtle, will ya? Here. Oh, I forgot the bow. We can craft a bow. Uh, let's see, I just need wood. Oh, seriously, Dillo? And that's a Parasaur I was about to try taming. Oh well. We can always find another. And then I just need flint for you. My downside is... It's hard to come across. Hey, you chill out so I can knock you out. craft up a bunch of you because you guys wear out super fast but clubs uh, are good guy go over I think I may have hit you one extra time but hey you know what I don't really care yeah 
And you, my friend, are next. But I'm not taming you. I'm just going to harvest you for resources. Sorry, dude. But you got some good resources on you. You got us metal. Yeah, we got metal. You got metal? Because we got metal. And there we go. Dehydrated. Again. Uh, let's see. Give me that. Uh, the oil. Give me that. Put that in there. Get the, that out. I want to guard you because I want to. Yeah, and see, you're going to be a Parasaur saddle. Parasaur level 9. Bam. Yeah, we got ourselves. A Paralertosaurus. Alert. Yeah, there we go. Uh, all right. We got ourselves a level. Wait. So now that we got ourselves a Paralertosaurus, where are your stats? They're horrible. But we can go... around places without having to worry about getting bumped off. Well, we can still get bumped off. That's still a possibility. But hey, we can go places now. It's a shame these guys can't jump. That's the only downside of a parasaur. They cannot jump. But they can detect enemies. Where? It's probably something in the water. Yep, stuff in the water. Um, let's see here. I need some flint, because I need arrows for my... And there we go. Now we got some regular metal. We need thatch. You follow me. here I need more thatch of course yeah this rat of flint okay but the good thing is when you're riding a parasaur, you can craft stuff and not worry about the slow waddle waddle waddle. Plus, you get more berries. And we need to get berries going because we need to get narcotics going. Because narcotics are what you use um, to help with the taming of dinos. And you need... Uh, narco berries and spoiled meat uh, to assist with that. So, and see, we got look at how many narco berries we got. We got 164. So, oh, 
Plus, the cool thing about Paralertosaurus, he enable turret mode, and he will let us know when there's a bad thing around. Yep, see? Dillo over there. He'll let us know. Let's see, I have a spoiled meat. So, I need one spoiled meat per narcotic. So, but narcotics do not spoil. So, uh, let's see, level up your hit points. And then if you want a lot of spoiled meat, split all, bam. Uh, got a level. There we go. Until they're not getting closer. Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, I hope it helped you out with uh, taming, getting started, you know, the cool things about parasaurs. So hey, if this episode helped you out, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.